The Ministry of Finance has set a foreign direct investment target of 1 billion US dollars for the Ministry of Investment Promotion. We are in the process of negotiating some crucial investments that can help us achieve that target. By the end of this year, we can triple this target. For example, the investment from the 500 megawatt wind power plant deal with Adani that was approved by the cabinet is 800 million US dollars. The investment for the oil refinery that will be established in Hambantota is 2.8 billion US dollars. We are also negotiating several small scale investment projects. If we are able to sign agreements for these projects, we can triple the target that was set for us by the Ministry of Finance. Minister, what's the plan for Trincomalee? Because this has been spoken a lot of for a long period and there is an investment zone and there is a natural port, yes. one of the most uh, the safest harbour in the world. Yeah. So Trincomalee also we are starting a, a zone. Kapal Turin, limit the zone which is connected to the port. But Trinkamali area and port, we want to develop it as the green energy hub of Sri Lanka or of Southeast Asia. So that is the main plan. We are working with India on how to execute that because uh, green energy obviously will have to sell most of it to India. This will be the hub for maybe solar, wind and of, of course green hydrogen that will be produced and uh, exported to the uh, Trincomalee Harbour, the world, that is the plan. I was in uh, Germany, in Hanover, at the Hanover Messi exhibition, which they had uh, one big time priority to green hydrogen. So I had discussed with so many companies, and we are seeing who would like to, because we are blessed with the wind and the sun in that region, so we can make use of it.